Hello everyone and welcome back to Indie Gamers. We are solving the case of Peter Carey. So let's continue from where we left earlier. Previously on Sherlock Holmes. Ha! Huh. Someone was here yesterday. They attempted to force the door to gain entry. Let's talk to Inspector Lestrade first. Well, Mr. Holmes, what do you think? I think that we are lucky. And why is that? Because of last night's attempted break-in. Oof, you've lost me. It is very probable that whoever came here hoped to find the door open. They tried to force it with a knife blade, but they failed. What will they do? Why, return tonight, when they will be better prepared. Aha! So what do you propose? We shall remain on the outside, near the window, where we stand the best chance of catching sight of our visitor. Well, gentlemen, ready your pistols. We have a long night ahead of us. Now we will search a window from where we can see the whole cab. This looks like the perfect hiding place. Did you hear that? There's someone there. I'm gonna collar him. I'll be right behind you. Police! Hold it right there! Let's check whom we caught inside the cabin. Mr. Holmes, come and see what we've caught in our net. All right, my fine fellow. Who are you and what are you doing here? You're detectives, I suppose. You imagine that I'm connected with the death of Captain Carey. I assure you I'm innocent. Innocent? And what are you doing in his cabin? Shall I tell you? You came to retrieve what you had lost after killing Peter Carey, but we were here waiting for you. What is your name? John Hopley Nelligan, but I... I didn't... Do you deny that you came here yesterday? No, but... but I... yes, it, it's just that I couldn't... I'm tired of this. Off we go to the yard. Tomorrow, I'll see that you're put in front of the judge. What? But you can't! I'm not... It's a terrible mistake. Enough. You can explain all of that to the judge. You're coming with me to the yard. But... In light of recent events, it seems evident that your coming here was unnecessary. All the same, I'm very grateful to you, Mr. Holmes. You are welcome, Inspector. But please don't be too hard on our young fellow. 
I would like to question him tomorrow morning. We have to examine the Mulligan's belongings. Good morning, Mr. Holmes. Can I help you? Good morning, Constable. I would like to speak to the fellow who was arrested at Woodman's Lee last night. Ah, oh, the young man. He's waiting in the interrogation room. You can go straight through. His belongings are held in the evidence room. Thank you. are the suspect's belongings. And partner, 1883. From R. Dawson. To my friend, Dawson. I've seen this name before. Perhaps my archive holds the answer. A handkerchief with the initials J.H.N. A pocket knife. It was used to force the door of Peter Carey's cabin. The notebook that we found on Peter Carey's cabin floor. These abbreviations mean something, but what? Okay, so Scotland Yard is added to the map. Let's go and talk to Mr. Nelligan. Does this notebook belong to you? Yes. But where did you find it? I did not know... I, I, I thought I'd lost it at the hotel. But... What do these abbreviations mean? Oh, no. I beg you, I can't. If I told you, it would only make things worse. But I will find out eventually, Mr. Nelligan. The sea knife was found near Carrie's body. Tell me, Mr. Nelligan, did Mr. Carrie try to defend himself or to attack you with it? I don't know. I didn't kill anyone. The police seized this valuable ring from you. Whose is it? I didn't steal it from anyone. It has always belonged to me. The ring's date of engraving is many years ago. You would have been a child then, hardly in any position to receive such an item from a partner.
So, Mr. Nelligan, who is the true owner of the ring? The ring is mine. No, Mr. Nelligan. I believe that the ring had belonged to your father. Oh, but, but how do you know? The jacket you are wearing is made of an expensive fabric that only a man of exceptional wealth could afford. You do not seem to me to be a rich man, Mr. Nelligan. Furthermore, the garment is ill-fitting. It is quite clear that it belonged to someone else, most probably your father. With your father gone and taking with him the family's wealth, as a little boy you had to find yourself a manual job, and it was most probably cleaning fish. You cut your hands often while working, I can tell from the scars. I'm speechless, Mr. Holmes. It, it all happened exactly as you say. Well, I will see you soon, young man. Please, let me go. I'm innocent. Oh, a new deductible. Let's check it. Here I am going to connect pin to the wall and swift action. Oh, a new task. We have to conduct an experiment. I need to stage a reconstruction. I am sure that Watson would be happy to oblige. Well, we will do that in our next video. Till then, bye-bye.